Are you interested in maximizing your savings and embracing a more frugal lifestyle? In this video, I'll uncover the timeless frugal practices and money-saving techniques employed by Jewish communities. Drawing from ancient wisdom, these strategies have empowered them to excel in both saving and living abundantly. Discover the keys to their financial success and learn how you can implement similar methods to enhance your own financial well-being and overall happiness. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Let me pose a question. Have you ever pondered why Jewish individuals exhibit such proficiency in financial matters regardless of their geographical location? It's as though they possess an innate understanding of economics and entrepreneurship. Some attribute this prowess to their unique mindset and adeptness in asset acquisition. Others speculate that they adhere to certain undisclosed habits that confer upon them a competitive advantage. Today, I aim to demystify this phenomenon by unveiling five clandestine money-saving techniques employed by the Jewish community. These insights can serve as invaluable tools in bolstering your savings, increasing your earnings, and ultimately, constructing your financial empire. If you're keen on discovering how Jewish individuals effectively navigate frugality while prospering, you won't want to miss this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and let's delve into the secrets together. Let's delve into the initial stage of the Jewish approach to prudent living, known as the Jewish clear goal for saving money. There exist three primary motivations behind Jewish money, saving practices, and the methods employed therein. First and foremost, followers of this belief system endeavor to uphold God's directive of tzedakah, a term in Hebrew that embodies the principles of charity and justice. This concept transcends simple monetary aid for those in need. Rather, it encompasses a broader spectrum of actions aimed at expressing gratitude to the divine for the blessings we have received. Through acts of sharing our material wealth, we not only acknowledge its divine origin, but also acknowledge our obligation to use it judiciously and compassionately. This entails not only giving to those less fortunate, but also fostering an environment of fairness and equity in our interactions with others, thereby embodying the spirit of Sadaka in all aspects of our lives. Secondly, the goal is to establish a secure future, not only for oneself, but also for loved ones. This encompasses the accumulation of adequate funds to cover fundamental needs, such as sustenance, clothing, housing, health care, and education. Moreover, it encompasses strategizing for retirement, anticipating unforeseen emergencies, and reserving resources for personal development and enjoyment. Thirdly, the aspiration encompasses a commitment to actively participate in initiatives and support organizations aimed at fostering peace, justice, human dignity, and environmental sustainability on a global scale. By dedicating resources, time, and effort to these causes, individuals strive to make meaningful contributions that positively influence the societies they inhabit and the broader world community. Through collective action and collaboration, they seek to leave a lasting and impactful legacy, leaving the world a better place for future generations. Being hospitable and welcoming to guests, friends, and strangers alike is a fundamental aspect of life. This notion of hospitality extends beyond mere courtesy. It reflects a deeper cultural value embedded within Jewish tradition. Delving deeper into the Jewish principles of thriftiness and frugal living can be an enriching journey. There are myriad avenues for exploration available to those intrigued by this idea. One can immerse themselves in literature authored by Jewish writers or focusing on Jewish themes, absorbing the wisdom and insights woven into these texts. Watching videos featuring Jewish experts or narratives can also provide valuable perspectives and understanding. Furthermore, attending seminars that delve into Jewish principles of wealth management and seeking guidance from mentors knowledgeable about Jewish financial ethics can offer invaluable insights and practical advice on incorporating these principles into daily life. Through these channels of exploration, one can gain a deeper appreciation for the ethos of thriftiness and frugality within Jewish culture and perhaps find inspiration to integrate these values into their own lives. 
Subscribing to channels similar to this, one offers a gateway to a wealth of videos dedicated to financial literacy and strategies aimed at attaining financial prosperity, akin to those employed within the Jewish community. Engaging with such content can be profoundly enlightening. By immersing yourself in the insights of seasoned individuals, you can augment your comprehension and aptitude in both personal finance and business matters. Nurturing a mindset and lifestyle that align with your financial aspirations is crucial for long-term success. Moreover, delving into the principles underlying Jewish wealth accumulation and adapting them to suit your own circumstances can pave the way for substantial growth, irrespective of your religious background. Reflecting on the idea of sharing money with others inevitably leads to an examination of its myriad benefits and drawbacks. Delving deeper, one must grapple with the challenge of distinguishing between needs and wants. What criteria do we employ to differentiate between the essential and the extraneous? This inquiry necessitates a nuanced exploration of personal values, priorities, and societal influences. By engaging in this dialogue, we can glean valuable insights into the complexities of financial decision-making and the intricacies of human behavior. We eagerly encourage you to contribute your perspectives and reflections in the comments section below, fostering a rich exchange of ideas and experiences. The next stage in the frugal lifestyle and financial strategies embraced by Jewish communities entails a nuanced mastery of the art of money management. Within this framework, Jewish individuals exhibit a distinctive approach to handling their finances, marked by a judicious fusion of budgeting, strategic investing, purposeful saving, and a thoughtful approach to spending. In stark contrast to frivolously dissipating resources on superfluous items, they conscientiously adhere to a disciplined financial regimen. This involves steering clear of debts that cannot be feasibly settled and eschewing the temptation to amass unused funds without purpose. Rather than viewing money as a mere commodity, they regard it as a versatile tool, employing it sagaciously to fulfill their objectives. In doing so, the emphasis lies not only on accumulating wealth, but also on leveraging financial resources intelligently to navigate the path towards long-term prosperity and societal contribution. This methodical and principled approach to money management stands as a testament to the enduring wisdom embedded in the financial practices of Jewish communities. For example, individuals meticulously devise a detailed monthly budget to forecast their incoming revenues and outgoing expenditures, thereby guaranteeing they adhere to their financial limitations. Diligently, they keep a watchful eye on their spending habits consistently prioritizing vital necessities over unnecessary indulgences. Additionally, they set aside at least 10% of their income to establish a robust financial cushion earmarked for unforeseen emergencies, retirement, and other future aspirations. Furthermore, they judiciously distribute a segment of their resources into a variety of investment channels, strategically aiming to nurture long-term financial growth and stability. At the same time, they prioritize allocating resources towards enhancing enriching experiences that cultivate joy and fulfillment in their lives. This includes investing in education to expand knowledge and skills, embarking on meaningful travel adventures to explore diverse cultures and landscapes, pursuing hobbies that ignite passion and creativity, and actively nurturing and deepening familial relationships. Moreover, they exhibit a strong dedication to social responsibility by earmarking a portion of their wealth for Zadaka, a term encompassing acts of charity and justice aimed at promoting communal welfare and solidarity within their society. Through these actions, they strive to make a positive impact on the world around them, fostering a more equitable and compassionate community for all. One of the most effective ways to save money is by refraining from purchasing unnecessary items. I am fond of a quote from Morgan Housel's book, the psychology of money, where he emphasizes that true wealth often lies in what remains unseen. Indeed, wealth can be defined by the cars not bought, the diamonds left unpurchased, the home renovations delayed, the clothes forgotten in the store, and the first-class upgrades declined. It's about the assets quietly accumulating in the bank, yet to be converted into tangible goods. Contrary to common misconceptions, 
The practice of saving money goes beyond mere deprivation. It is, in fact, a strategic investment in one's future well-being. Embracing the habit of saving does not mean relinquishing enjoyment or foregoing life's pleasures. Instead, it empowers individuals with a plethora of choices, enhanced financial control, and a heightened degree of life flexibility. Saving money is not only a testament to financial wisdom, but also reflects qualities such as patience and humility. By honing adept financial management skills, individuals can actively pursue their monetary aspirations while remaining steadfast in adherence to their core values, thereby experiencing a profound sense of freedom and contentment. In essence, saving money becomes a pathway to not only financial security, but also a fulfilling and balanced life. Additionally, exercising careful and wise financial stewardship transcends being a mere skill. It is considered a mitzvah, a sacred obligation or commandment in Judaism. This practice serves as a means of acknowledging and appreciating the blessings bestowed by a higher power and signifies a commitment to sharing these blessings with others. Through the implementation of sound financial principles, individuals can harmonize their actions with their religious beliefs, fostering a sense of fulfillment in both their material and spiritual endeavors. Now that we've delved into the Jewish community's approach to managing finances, let's further explore another practical method for frugal living and saving, the five-jar method. This method offers a straightforward yet efficient system for handling and saving money for various purposes, while still allowing for enjoyment. If you're looking to streamline your financial management and cultivate better saving habits, adopting the Jewish five-jar method could be a beneficial strategy. You might be curious about how it works. Well, it's quite simple. The five-jar method involves dividing your income into five distinct categories. Necessities, tzedakah, charitable giving, savings, investments, and fun. To implement this method, you'll need five jars or containers, each labeled accordingly, along with a predetermined percentage for each category. For instance, you could allocate 50% for necessities, 10% for tzedakah, 10% for savings, 10% for investments, and 20% for fun. Let's delve into the purpose behind each jar in your financial management system. The first jar, aptly named Necessities, plays a pivotal role in structuring your financial framework by encompassing indispensable expenses like groceries, housing, utility bills, and transportation costs. This jar operates as a safety net strategically designed to safeguard your ability to meet essential daily needs responsibly. By allocating funds to cover fundamental aspects of living, such as nourishment, shelter, and utilities, you create a solid foundation that mitigates the risk of falling into debt and fosters enduring financial stability. Essentially, the necessities jar serves as a cornerstone for effective budgeting, ensuring that you prioritize and fulfill your basic requirements before allocating resources to other financial goals or discretionary spending. This proactive approach not only guards against unforeseen financial challenges, but also establishes a disciplined financial routine, laying the groundwork for overall financial well-belling. Moving on to the tzedakah jar, this designated allocation serves as a vital vessel for earmarking funds towards charitable donations or bolstering initiatives that align with your values. By actively participating in acts of generosity, you not only foster a profound sense of gratitude, but also play an integral role in uplifting the welfare of your community. Through the noble act of sharing your blessings with those less fortunate, you sow the seeds of compassion and solidarity, enriching the lives of others while embodying the true essence of altruism. The savings jar plays a pivotal role in securing your financial well-being by acting as a reliable reserve for unforeseen emergencies or as a dedicated fund for achieving specific goals. Beyond merely serving as a safety net for unexpected expenses, this financial tool empowers you to proactively save for future endeavors, whether it's a dream vacation, purchasing a home, or investing in further education. By diligently contributing to your savings jar, you not only create a financial cushion to navigate through life's uncertainties, but also foster a sense of financial discipline and responsibility. This intentional approach to saving instills confidence, allowing you to face challenges with resilience. 
as you are assured that you have a financial backup ready to support you. In essence, the savings jar becomes a cornerstone in your journey towards financial stability, providing not only tangible monetary benefits, but also peace of mind and a sense of control over your financial destiny. Moving on to the investments jar, this crucial component of your financial strategy involves judiciously setting aside a portion of your earnings to delve into various investment avenues, such as stocks, bonds, or mutual funds. The essence lies in harnessing the power of compound growth, enabling your wealth to flourish steadily over time. By navigating the dynamic landscape of financial markets, you not only embark on a journey towards wealth accumulation, but also fortify the foundations of your financial security. The potential for achieving long-term financial aspirations is embedded in the proactive management and strategic allocation of resources within the realm of investments. This deliberate approach not only fosters fiscal resilience, but also opens doors to opportunities for capital appreciation and sustainable financial well-being. As you nurture and diversify your investment portfolio, you are not merely safeguarding your future. You are actively participating in the broader economic landscape, leveraging your financial acumen to make informed decisions that resonate with your overarching life goals. The fun jar serves as a dedicated reservoir for embracing moments of joy and satisfaction in your life. This compartment is specifically earmarked for engaging in activities that resonate with your passions and interests or making purchases that contribute to your overall sense of fulfillment. The fun jar emphasizes the significance of allocating resources for joyful pursuits, whether it's through engaging in hobbies, exploring new destinations, enjoying diverse forms of entertainment, or indulging in thoughtful gifts for yourself and loved ones. It underscores the idea that happiness can be found by intentionally dedicating resources to uplifting experiences. It emphasizes the significance of maintaining a healthy life balance by recognizing and celebrating your hard work, dedication, and the achievements you've attained along your journey. Investing resources in this aspect of your life not only fosters your overall well-being, but also strengthens the notion that self-care and moments of joy are essential elements of a satisfying and rewarding life. Each jar plays a vital role in your overall financial well-being, offering a structured approach to managing your finances and ensuring you prioritize both your immediate needs and long-term aspirations. By adhering to the five-jar method, you can effectively manage your finances while aligning with your values. Moreover, it's a way to express gratitude, serve others, and fulfill your purpose in life. Remember, this method isn't just about saving money. It's about embracing a balanced and meaningful lifestyle. If you're finding this content valuable and wish to see more topics like this, drop a comment with the word more below. Interested in mastering the art of saving money and embracing a frugal lifestyle akin to that of Jewish individuals? Delving into the realms of wealth and investment is your next step. It involves leveraging your finances to generate more wealth and attain financial freedom. It's about being savvy, patient, and modest with your finances, steering clear of the pitfalls of greed, envy, and pride. Jewish investors have long been recognized for their prudent and disciplined approach to wealth management. Drawing from centuries of financial wisdom rooted in their cultural and religious teachings, they navigate the investment landscape with astuteness and caution. They prioritize investment strategies that align with their values, focusing on ethical and sustainable ventures that contribute positively to society. Rather than chasing short-term gains, they prioritize long-term growth and stability, often opting for diversified portfolios that mitigate risk. Embracing a mindset of stewardship, Jewish investors strive to use their wealth responsibly balancing financial success with social responsibility and charitable giving. So, how do they strike this delicate balance between risk and reward? What guiding principles do they adhere to in their investment endeavors? Let's unravel these queries together and glean insights from the rich tradition of Jewish financial wisdom. Diversification stands as a fundamental tenet within Jewish investing philosophy emphasizing the importance of allocating investments across a spectrum of asset classes. This strategic approach entails spreading financial resources across diverse avenues such as equities, 
fixed income securities, real estate holdings, precious metals like gold, and emerging assets like cryptocurrencies. By adopting this multifaceted investment strategy, individuals not only shield themselves against the adverse impacts of market downturns, but also position themselves to seize advantageous opportunities for wealth accumulation. Another crucial element of Jewish investment philosophy is the principle of compound interest. Embracing this concept entails letting your earnings accumulate interest and then reinvesting them systematically over time. This approach unlocks the potential for exponential growth as your wealth gradually snowballs through the compounding effect. Thus, exercising patience and maintaining discipline are paramount as you observe the remarkable expansion of your financial assets. Moreover, it is essential to emphasize the significance of upholding the principles of value investing. This approach involves the meticulous identification of assets that are currently undervalued but possess substantial growth potential, or alternatively, acquiring assets at prices lower than their intrinsic value. By consistently following this approach, investors can take advantage of the market's inherent inefficiencies, strategically seizing opportunities to purchase at lower prices and later sell at higher ones. This helps optimize profitability in their investment pursuits. Let's illustrate these principles with a hypothetical scenario. Imagine you have $10,000 to invest. Following the Jewish investment approach, you adopt the five-jar method to allocate your funds across different categories, necessities, tzedakah, charity, savings, investments, and fun. Half of your budget, 50%, is designated for necessities, ensuring that your fundamental expenses are adequately covered. A further 10% is allocated to tzedakah, representing your dedication to charitable giving and philanthropy. Another 10% is set aside for establishing an emergency fund or working towards specific financial objectives. Concurrently, 10% is earmarked for investments, where strategies such as diversification, compound interest, and value investing are implemented to grow your wealth. The remaining 20% is reserved for fun activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, allowing you to enjoy life to the fullest. Within the investment jar, you embark on a journey of diversification, meticulously distributing $250 into four distinct compartments, stocks, bonds, real estate, and gold. Delving into the realm of stocks, your strategy revolves around identifying undervalued enterprises, primed for exponential growth thus positioning yourself to reap substantial rewards. Bonds, on the other hand, present a sanctuary of stability, furnishing consistent returns while safeguarding against undue risk. Venturing into real estate, your investments pivot towards the acquisition of properties, leveraging rental income streams and exploiting the ebbs and flows of supply-demand dynamics for optimal gains. Meanwhile, your allocation to gold serves as a formidable bulwark against the erosive effects of inflation, diligently preserving your wealth across the temporal landscape. Over the span of 10 years, your unwavering commitment to financial prudence and strategic investment has proven to be a resounding success. Throughout this decade-long journey, you meticulously reinvested dividends, harnessed the power of compounding through interest capitalized on rental income, and skillfully navigated the ebbs and flows of profits. Your disciplined approach led you to refrain from premature selling, unless, of course, assets showed signs of becoming overvalued. As the culmination of this patient and calculated strategy unfolds, the outcome is nothing short of astonishing. Your initial investment of $10,000 has not merely grown, but has flourished into a remarkable $30,000. The equities in your portfolio have doubled in value, providing a substantial boost to your overall returns. Bonds and real estate displaying resilience and upward momentum have surged by an impressive 50%, contributing significantly to the overall growth. Even gold, traditionally known for its stability, has not been immune to the positive tide, appreciating by an encouraging 50%. This financial journey stands as a testament to the power of long-term commitment strategic decision-making, and the remarkable results that can be achieved through prudent investment practices. Achieving an impressive average annual return of 11%, which consistently outperforms the market average, 
fills you with a sense of triumph and satisfaction regarding your investment skills. Your elation is not merely a stroke of luck, but a testament to your strategic adherence to the principles of Jewish investing. Embracing key tenets such as diversification, compound interest, and value discernment, you have skillfully navigated the complex world of finance. Through meticulous planning and a steadfast commitment to these principles, you have not only secured financial stability, but have also paved the way for lasting prosperity. This success underscores the importance of disciplined and informed investment strategies, demonstrating the tangible rewards that come from a thoughtful approach to wealth creation. Embarking on the next phase of the thrifty lifestyle and financial strategies embraced by Jewish individuals involves mastering the art of debt management, a critical facet in the journey toward financial well-being. In navigating the intricate landscape of fiscal responsibility, one must confront the looming challenge of credit card debt, a formidable adversary that can impede the pursuit of financial freedom. The allure of credit cards is undeniably tempting, offering a seemingly convenient means of payment, however, the suffocating grip of this debt can wreak havoc on both earnings and savings, primarily through exorbitant interest rates and fees. Startlingly, recent statistics paint a disconcerting picture of the financial landscape, revealing that the average American's credit card debt is projected to soar to $5,910 in 2023. This represents a staggering $700 increase from the previous year, as reported by TransUnion a prominent credit reporting agency. The implications of this escalating burden prompt a critical reflection on how individuals find themselves ensnared in this predicament. Understanding the root causes becomes paramount to formulating effective strategies for liberation from the clutches of credit card debt. The gravity of this situation raises pertinent questions about financial literacy, spending habits, and the influence of societal pressures on individual financial choices. By delving into these aspects, one can unravel the complexities that contribute to the surge in credit card debt. Armed with this understanding, individuals can proactively implement measures to free themselves from the shackles of financial entanglement. As we navigate the labyrinth of debt management, it becomes imperative to explore prudent financial practices, cultivate disciplined spending habits, and foster a resilient mindset that prioritizes long-term financial well-being over short-term gratification. In doing so, one can forge a path toward financial liberation and ensure a more secure and prosperous future. The origins of this intricate financial dilemma frequently lie in the widespread reliance on credit cards for a spectrum of expenditures, ranging from fundamental needs like groceries and fuel to more discretionary luxuries such as entertainment. What may initially appear as a convenient and manageable solution to meet immediate financial demands can gradually evolve into a burgeoning problem. As these expenses accumulate, they can surpass one's income, setting the stage for a downward spiral into mounting debt. Addressing this complex predicament requires a deliberate and unified approach towards effective debt management, providing individuals with a viable pathway towards liberation from the clutches of this relentless cycle of indebtedness. By adopting sound financial practices and cultivating a mindful approach to spending, one can pave the way for financial stability and break free from the chains of perpetual financial strain. Consider a scenario where an individual grapples with $10,000 in credit card debt burdened by an average interest rate of 18%. Opting for the minimum monthly payment of $200 extends the repayment horizon to nearly eight years, accompanied by a staggering interest accrual of $8,796. Such an outcome is scarcely tenable. However, by doubling the monthly payment to $400, the debt could be liquidated within a fraction of the time, approximately three years, while curbing the interest expenditure to a modest $2,784. This translates to savings amounting to $6,012 over a span of 60 months, underscoring the transformative potential of prudent debt management. Envision the myriad possibilities afforded by reclaiming this surplus capital and temporal freedom. Whether channeling it towards investments poised to secure one's financial future, bolstering emergency reserves, or indulging in well-deserved luxuries, 
the implications are profound. This exemplifies the transformative power of debt management, dispelling the myth of financial freedom as an elusive ideal and affirming it as an attainable skill. Drawing inspiration from the financial acumen exhibited by Jewish communities, a quintessential lesson emerges the strategic conquest of debt. Characterized by a proactive approach, they shun the shackles of indebtedness, leveraging debts as instruments for wealth accumulation rather than enslavement. Embracing a multi-pronged strategy, they expedite debt repayment through tactics, such as the snowball method, systematically eliminating liabilities from the smallest to the largest. Concurrently, they eschew incurring new debts unless absolutely imperative, prioritizing savings and cash transactions to avert the pitfalls of interest payments and penalties. In essence, the ethos of debt management permeates Jewish financial philosophy, epitomizing the symbiotic relationship between fiscal prudence and empowerment. By adhering to these principles, individuals can not only mitigate financial vulnerabilities, but also unlock newfound avenues for prosperity and fulfillment. Let's delve into another perspective, the approach of Jewish individuals towards negotiating deals on their debts. Rather than accepting the terms at face value, they actively seek better arrangements. This might involve shopping around for lower interest rates, extended repayment periods, or reduced monthly payments. Moreover, they aren't hesitant to request discounts or waivers on fees. If the terms aren't favorable, they're willing to negotiate or walk away. By adopting this approach, they effectively save money and alleviate their debt burden. How do you personally manage your debt? Do you resonate with this proactive negotiation strategy? Share your insights in the comments below. Now, let's explore another saving strategy commonly practiced by Jewish people, the avalanche method. A key factor contributing to their financial success is their utilization of this method to break free from debt. The avalanche method entails prioritizing the repayment of debts based on the highest interest rate, disregarding the balances. This approach enables individuals to minimize interest costs and expedite their journey out of debt. Visualize it as clearing a mountain of snow from the top down, starting with the most perilous and costly layers. By adhering to this method, many Jewish individuals have successfully eliminated their debts and attained financial independence. Allow me to illustrate how Rachel employed the avalanche method to achieve debt freedom. Rachel had multiple loans with varying balances and interest rates. She owed $15,000 on a student loan with a 20% interest rate, $8,000 on a car loan with 15% interest, $3,000 on a personal loan with 12% interest, and $1,000 on a credit card with an 8% interest rate. Feeling overwhelmed, she decided to implement the avalanche method. She allocated as much as possible towards repaying her student loan while meeting the minimum obligations on the other loans. After a year, she cleared her student loan and progressed to tackle her car loan. This systematic approach enabled her to pay off all her loans within three years, saving significantly on interest payments. Now that we've explored the avalanche method, let's shift our focus to another aspect of Jewish financial wisdom living below one's income. This entails spending less than what you earn and saving the surplus. While seemingly straightforward, it requires discipline in a world filled with temptations and consumerism. Nonetheless, mastering this practice is fundamental for building wealth and ensuring financial security. Jewish individuals excel in frugality and prioritize needs over wants, steering clear of unnecessary expenditures. Additionally, they possess astute investment strategies, allowing their savings to generate returns. Let me share Jacob's story as an exemplar of this approach. Jacob, a teacher earning $50,000 annually, embraced a modest lifestyle. He resided in a humble abode, drove an older vehicle, and maintained simple attire. By abstaining from luxuries such as fine dining and extravagant vacations, he managed to save 20% of his income monthly. He channeled these savings into a diversified investment portfolio comprising stocks, bonds, and real estate. Over 30 years, he adhered to this disciplined approach, steadily accumulating a net worth exceeding $2 million by the time of his retirement. 
Jacob's story exemplifies the efficacy of living below one's means in achieving financial prosperity. Furthermore, Jewish financial principles emphasize the significance of pursuing avenues for increasing income. Simply saving money isn't sufficient. One must strive to augment earnings. Jewish individuals are renowned for their diligence and dedication to self-improvement. They continuously enhance their skills, broaden their knowledge, and expand their entrepreneurial endeavors. Embracing calculated risks and embracing new opportunities are integral to their ethos. Education and entrepreneurship serve as pathways to wealth creation and societal impact. To emulate the Jewish approach to earning money, one must cultivate a mindset of growth and abundance. This entails diligent effort, continuous learning, and prudent risk-taking. Creating value, addressing societal needs, and diversifying income streams are paramount. Moreover, wise investment practices and reinvestment of profits are essential components of financial success. For further insights, I recommend exploring Rabbi Daniel Lapan's book, Thou Shall Prosper 10 Commandments for Making Money. It offers valuable principles and strategies for achieving financial abundance. Lastly, Jewish individuals are renowned for their excellence in various professional domains, including law, medicine, finance, science, and education. They gravitate towards fields that align with their talents, values, and societal contributions. By choosing high-demand professions with lucrative prospects, they optimize their earning potential while fulfilling personal aspirations. This strategic approach to career selection underscores the holistic perspective of Jewish financial wisdom, emphasizing both earning and saving strategies to attain lasting prosperity. Choosing a professional path wisely can significantly impact one's financial prosperity and overall satisfaction. Let me illustrate this through Leah's story. Leah, a bright and driven individual, aspired to pursue a career in law due to her deep-rooted commitment to justice and human rights. With dedicated efforts, she gained admission to a renowned law school and graduated with distinction. Securing a position at a prestigious law firm, Leia dedicated herself to cases advocating for the rights of marginalized groups. Her diligence rewarded her with a substantial income, of which she managed to save a considerable portion. Furthermore, she invested in causes close to her heart, thus aligning her financial endeavors with her values. By selecting a profession that resonated with her interests, principles, and aptitudes, Leia not only thrived financially, but also made a meaningful impact on societal issues. For those contemplating a career path akin to Leia's, careful consideration of various factors is essential. Researching market demand, salary prospects, and growth opportunities across different fields is crucial. Additionally, introspection to identify one's talents, skills, and passions is imperative. It's vital to seek alignment between personal values, professional goals, and societal contribution when making career choices. These criteria, akin to those employed by the Jewish community, pave the way for financial success and fulfillment. The following stage in the thrifty way of life and financial saving approaches of Jewish individuals involves embarking on one's own business venture. Jewish individuals are renowned for their entrepreneurial drive and achievements across various sectors. They possess a knack for identifying market demands, customer issues, and potential remedies that can be transformed into products or services. If you aspire to initiate and develop your own business akin to Jewish practices and cultivate wealth, adhering to these steps is essential. Initially, pinpointing a market need, a customer problem, and a potential solution that can be converted into a product or service is imperative. This step is crucial as it enables you to discern a void in the market that you can fill with your distinct value proposition. Furthermore, it aids in comprehending your target clientele, their pain points, requirements, and desires. Additionally, it facilitates the creation of a product or service that effectively resolves their predicaments or fulfills their needs superiorly to existing alternatives. Subsequently, Testing your concept with a select group of potential customers and garnering feedback constitutes the second step in initiating and developing your own business. 
This approach is crucial for confirming the feasibility of your idea and evaluating its compatibility with the market. It also provides valuable insights from customers, offering a glimpse into their preferences, viewpoints, and recommendations. Moreover, it contributes to enhancing your product or service, rendering it more enticing and beneficial to your clientele. By subjecting your concept to scrutiny by a small pool of potential customers and acquiring feedback, you can circumvent squandering resources on developing a product or service that lacks demand. The third step in launching and commencing your own business entails introducing your product or service online or offline and marketing it to your target audience. This phase facilitates the introduction of your offering to the market, thereby stimulating sales and revenue. Additionally, it enables you to reach prospective customers and communicate your value proposition and benefits effectively. Consequently, this aids in fortifying brand awareness and reputation, consequently attracting more customers. After introducing your product, the next step is to generate revenue through various channels, including advertisements, subscriptions, commissions, or sales. Collaborating with other businesses or individuals capable of fostering your business's growth and expanding its customer base is also imperative. Moreover, recruiting employees or outsourcing tasks that can be executed more efficiently by others is essential. This practice affords you the time to refine your product or service, incorporating novel features or benefits to enhance customer satisfaction and loyalty. Moreover, embracing failure as a learning opportunity, adapting to evolving market dynamics and customer preferences, and reinvesting profits into your business or alternative income, generating ventures are crucial aspects. These are the strategies employed by Jewish individuals in establishing and nurturing their own businesses, thereby amassing wealth. Do you currently own a business or are you contemplating starting one? Feel free to share your experiences in the comments section below. Another aspect of the frugal lifestyle and financial saving strategies of Jewish individuals is traditional employment. Opting for occupations aligned with their religious and cultural values, which offer lucrative remuneration and high demand, constitutes traditional employment for Jewish individuals. They excel across various fields such as law, medicine, finance, science, and education. Several factors drive their preference for traditional employment. Historically, Limitations on land ownership or guild membership precluded them from farming or crafts. Additionally, their emphasis on education equips them with skills and knowledge beneficial across numerous professions. Their robust work ethic and inclination towards creating value and addressing societal challenges further fuel their pursuit of traditional employment. Moreover, traditional jobs serve as a platform for acquiring knowledge and experience conducive to launching their own businesses in the future. By engaging in traditional employment, Jewish individuals not only augment their earnings, but also bolster their savings and derive satisfaction from their work. Over centuries, Jewish individuals have attained financial prosperity through their frugal lifestyle and saving practices, underpinned by principles such as setting clear savings goals, prudent money management, debt control, and living within their means. Moreover, strategies such as the avalanche method, career selection, entrepreneurial pursuits, and traditional employment have contributed to their financial success. These principles can be applied universally to achieve financial freedom, accumulate wealth, and lead a fulfilling life. Cultivating a mindset of growth and abundance, coupled with a passion for continual learning and innovation, as well as a willingness to exert effort and embrace risk, are instrumental in realizing these objectives. By adhering to these principles, you can transform your financial circumstances and enhance your overall well-being. It's important to note that this content is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. Prior to making any investment decisions, it's imperative to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals. Remember, investments are subject to market fluctuations and past performance does not guarantee future results. Always evaluate your risk tolerance and investment objectives before allocating your capital. If you're interested in learning about assets conducive to generating income, consider watching the next installment in our video series. Don't hesitate to share this video, subscribe to our channel, 
and engage with us in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.